ni nani huyu Mungu mwenye nguvu
wall Bring down every burden, Lord For those who are watching, oh God Wherever you're watching us The Spirit of God is present in this place To break every wall down to break every bondage every yoke is broken under the power of Yahweh oh spirit break up oh spirit break up come on move come on move break our walls down Holy Spirit we welcome you we welcome you we welcome you Break every wall, break every wall, break every wall, break every wall. Spirit break up, break up. If you're sick in your body, the spirit is moving in this place today. bless you our dear viewer from wherever you are following us we really want to say most welcome to this program again uh, we are continuing with uh, talking about the Holy Spirit and so far we've covered like four lessons based on what the Holy Spirit does who is the Holy Spirit you know and many other today we are continuing the same and our deputy senior pastor is in the house uh, to take us through another step again still under the same umbrella of the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you uh, Pastor Puere, the Lord bless you. Thank you, the Lord bless you Elder. Yeah, Amen. really a great pleasure to meet you here again. Thank you. Many thanks for accepting the invitation. Asante. The last time that you were here we felt like God was speaking through you. Yes, and, and continue to speak. And uh, many thanks for being available for yes. God to use you. Amen. We know that this morning he has also loaded you yes. with something and uh, you're ready to speak wisdom. Thank you. Maybe you just want to say welcome to our viewers and, and uh, a word of hi, maybe. Okay. Yes. Praise the Lord, viewers, and welcome to our today's episode. It's yes. always a joy to mm. engage you on this online platform. Mm. Indeed, uh, God has been gracious to us as we converse and talk many things. Mm. And so we take this opportunity to welcome you together, my elder Philip, yes. on this discussion that you'll be blessed as you watch, as you mm. engage, and hear what is happening uh, in the kingdom of God, according yes. to the word of God, which we are discussing wow. or basing on in our discussion. Mm. So welcome so much and the Lord bless you. Amen. 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 And so today we want to talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. The gifts of the Holy Spirit. Does Holy Spirit have gifts? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When we say that, you know, the Holy Spirit, last time we talked about the person of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So he has endowed people differently. Yes. You will find like you are an excellent moderator. That's yeah. a gift. Wow, okay. <laughs> Not every person is a moderator. You yes. go in a place and they say, we want Philip, yes. our elder Philip to moderate. Mm. So the Holy Spirit has endowed people differently. Yes. Um, just to be able to ensure that the kingdom work is done uh, differently, but in unison. Wow. So there are gifts of the Holy Spirit that operate differently to many wow. people. Yeah. Wow. Wow. 
Mm. Wow. And so maybe where we want to start from, uh, what are these gifts? Yes. What are the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Because yeah. then, then if they are gifts, mm -hmm. maybe they are known. Yeah, yes. they are obviously known, yeah. right? Yes, they are obviously known. Yes. I would basically want us to look at the gifts according to First Corinthians, Corinthians yes. chapter 12. Mm. It talks about the gift of wisdom. Yes. The gift of knowledge. Yes. Uh, the gift of service. Yes. The gift of speaking in tongues, wow. interpretation of tongues, the gift wow. of teaching, wow. the gift of preaching, uh, discerning of spirits. So I would want us to look in that particular context. Wow. Yes. And they, wow. are, known. they are not new wow. to people. Wow. Yes. yes. Now, I want you to take a step by step. You've mm. just mentioned, and uh, you've mentioned quite a number. Mm. I want you to take some time, mention a gift, and, and, and try to expound on it, how that gift can work, how somebody can know that they are operating within a gift. Okay. You, yes. 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 Now, gift of uh, um, of uh, I I studied the gift of wisdom. Yes. Yeah. There are people that when you sit with, yes. you realize that they are able to give an extraordinary answer mm. in even a difficult situation. Yes. So then they have a gift of wisdom. Yes. They can be very calm, um, and when people are fumbling to give ideas. How do we solve this? You realize yes. somebody just mentioned something, and every person says yes. Yes. Yeah. So they have a gift of wisdom mm. in handling things. There's a gift of knowledge. Mm. Now, knowledge is two way. There's the, the mm. knowledge we learn in books. That's not the yes. gift of the Holy Spirit. Exactly. The gift of knowledge is in the same based on the Word of God. Mm. Actually, it just ranks almost closer to the gift of wisdom. Yes. In the sense that there are people that are knowledge knowledgeable in the things of God. Yes. In in the sense that you remember when Jesus asked the disciples, "Who am I?" Mm. Uh, Peter gets the gift of knowledge. Mm. He says, "You are the Lord. You are Christ, the Lord." Wow. That's a gift of knowledge. It's it's, yes. it's it's a kind of a revelation. Yes, or that gives that. So exactly. that is what you call the gift of knowledge. The things of God. You become a sound deep. Yes, yeah? yes. In the things of God. Yes. Many teachers of word of God. They are teachers. Uh, who are saying the teachers of word are gifted in the word of knowledge? Yes, and both of wisdom. They are able to really bring the word of God that you ordinarily read, mm. but in a level you say, no, no, this is a different. Person. Yes, yes. They are gift of healing. This yes. one are very obvious, and mm. this one people sick. These are mm. people mm. that God has endowed with the ability that they can pray for a sick person mm. and be healed. Yes. So that's a gift of healing. Not every person has yes. the gift of healing. Yes, and we should not actually. Uh, criminalize yourself or um, you put yourself down because you pray for someone you know there are people that are endowed you, you because God has given you that ability that you can pray for a sick person yes. and be healed mm. so they have a gift of feeling that we, many of us talk of signs and wonders then yes. when you move around them they really can be able to, you can see that, uh, that they can pray for a sick person yes. and that person can be healed so mm. that's what they call gift of healing yes the gift of teaching, I've talked about it. Mm. There are people that are God has endowed with knowledge and how they look at the Word of God mm. and they bring deep truths from the Word of God. Wow. Yes, so wow. this is a gift. While all of us can be teachers, mm. those with the gift of teaching, you see them rank higher mm. when you see their teaching style, their teaching method. Wow. A simple word, like you get somebody um, able just to come and read. A common word that you read, mm. yeah, like, at the book of Psalms chapter 1. Yes. And you see deep truths because God has given them the gift of wow, teaching. Wow. Now, there's the gift of preaching that when many pastors claim wow, to have. But wow. there are people also that when you listen to their preaching, mm. you see this is a gifted preacher. Wow. It goes just beyond mere wow. preaching. Wow. So we talk about tongues. Every mm. Christian and every Pentecostal mm. uh, speaks in tongues. Mm. So you get the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You see it being manifested in Acts chapter 1, uh, verse 8, and part of chapter 2. Mm. So that is the way to speak in strange tongues yes. that you are conversing. So that is a speak, the wow. gift of uh, um, uh, the speaking in tongues. Mm. We have the gift of interpreting tongues. There mm. are people that can interpret tongues. They can see somebody preaching and talking in different tongues. They, this one is talking this and this one doing that. Wow. So generally, uh, what we are saying around that particular subject is mm. that uh, people endow differently and you can easily know mm. the gift of the Holy Spirit by the way you distinguish yourself from mere believers. Wow. All believers actually can have, I know that maybe the second question you would have asked, mm. uh, you can have a multiple set of gifts. You mm. can actually be a teacher and a preacher. Mm. 
Yes. But I'm telling you, and you can actually have or manifest almost this, but they are gifted to rank higher yes. in your ladder in wow. terms of how you manifest yourself in the mm. area of wow. service. Wow. Yes. Now, 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 just mm. there, mm. Uh, there are people who can start in life as trained teacher or a public speaker mm. or a, um, say, say uh, initially somebody maybe from their background, mm. from their cradle, their form, they have a certain kind of formation. Yes. And uh, when they get saved, is it right then to say that the Holy Spirit will, can, can gift them in line with their formation, the kind of profession that they, 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 they have shaped their lives? Maybe you're a trained teacher. Do you end, end up becoming a teacher of the Word of God? Yes. It's, it's a yes and no. Mm. Yes, on the fact that one, mm. we talk about God who knew us even before we were formed in our mother's womb. Yes. The way he speaks to Jeremiah, he says, even that leap of yours is yes. going to, yeah, you, you'll be able to plant and uproot. Yes. He talks to that to, mm. to Jeremiah. Mm. And so when people now grow up and walk in the ways of God and the line they walk with God, now they fulfill the God's purpose. Yes. Because God knew them before creation. That's yes. what God talk, the Bible talks yes, about. Yes, yes. And so they are able to fulfill the same mm. and walk the same. Yes. And so it becomes a yes in that perspective. Mm. But it's a no in the sense that um, sometimes the things we do, mm. they may not be by spirit. By spirit is that it's not what God intended for you. Yes. But along when you are growing up, you the environment shaped you. It's yes. called um, in culturalization. Yes. Staying around where people like meat and you start eating meat rather than God yes. bringing meat to you. <laughs> so um, yes. it becomes a no. Mm. So the distinguishing factor there is the spirit. Yes. Does when does this spirit of God come to start operating and fully making manifest on yes. the purposes and the wills of God mm. and distinguish you and you start operating in that level where God intended you to do? Yes. But more often than not, most of our gift that we have, because mm. when God loved the world, he had a purpose for every person. So yes. that man has always been running away. Mm. So you find that if people have found themselves teachers, they are excellent teachers. I have been a teacher by the yes. way. Yes. You can go to a school and realize a very gifted teacher. Yes. Even of a difficult subject. These ones are difficult. Mm. I have uh, one of our teachers in Sitam schools, I uh, worked with him. Mm. That teacher, when he says good morning, she didn't just get excited. Yes. Just a good morning. You can see a gift of teaching yes. in that particular teacher. Yes. There are teachers, and now in the ordinary sense, mm. they really struggle mm. in teaching. So yes. there is a distinction. So yeah. one, maybe when they, are, they call themselves, Yes. It was not by the spirit. Yes. Yes. So you can actually be operating in your spirit just mm. before you get saved. Wow. By fact that because God knew us before we were born. Okay. Yeah. Now, still on that, mm. is it possible to use the giftings of the of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to serve purposes maybe in the marketplace beside uh, serving in the church? Can you the, use the gifts of the Holy Spirit to be relevant out there? Yes, yes, yes. It's very mm. possible. And actually, it's mm. part of my persuasion that why I wanted us to discuss this subject today, my elder. Mm. You know, um, we are living in a time where people think that the word of God was meant for people to be in the church. Mm. And when we come to church on Sunday or on a Wednesday or th that time when you gather in church, maybe twice in a week or once in a week, yes. Uh, what do people do the rest of the week when they mm. get the word of God? Mm. So you find that they don't go and appropriate the same. And mm. really it has disturbed me over time. Yes. When God called us to different tasks, I want to believe, and I believe the same, that mm. he calls us with the Holy Spirit for service yes. in the marketplace. Mm. And it ranges from us being in church to the outside world, mm. from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to the yes. ends of the earth. Yes. So the gift of the Holy Spirit are supposed to be appropriated beyond the four walls of mm. the church. Mm. Yes, even in the marketplace. Yes. So you can be a teacher, maybe, for example, of the Word of God. Mm. Can you be able to really even teach and do a devotion mm. at your workplace, mm. to your family. Do you really take time and uh, have a devotion yes. with your children? Yes. Um, what about interpretation of tongues? Mm. God could be speaking in some unique tongues. I know mm. we've got at a place where people seek to be speaking like Greek. Mm. But I met another bishop somewhere and we are speaking and he was just mumbling. 
Mm. Yeah, that was a very unique, <laughs> yes, a unique wow, wow. spirit of God. Yes. Can we mumble? Can we hear the mumble of the voice of God yes. in the midst of our politics? Yes. Because God will be mumbling to yes, people. Exactly. Can people be really know that God is speaking to us? Say, Ritz, I'm calling you to righteousness. Mm. So you find that even the speaking of tongues which you were ordinarily just used in a, in, mm. a, in a meeting like a prayer service. Mm. God will be wanting us to mumble when we realize that the politician are not speaking the way you, you mumble and you get yourself wow. um, to speak in tongues. Wow. Uh, and, and you just have a conversation that can change an atmosphere somewhere. Mm. So these gifts are meant to be used in the marketplace just like in the church wow yes wow very very powerful very mm. very powerful mm. and so um uh, who are eligible who are eligible to receive these gifts mm -hmm. it just is it meant for a special class of people or anybody it is it's not for anybody yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's for every believer <laughs> yes. the things of god are yes. about the people of God. Exactly. <laughs> now, there are people that God intends them to be the, of God. Yes. But they are decided to refuse to be used of God. Exactly. You know, mm. this man called Saul. Mm. At one point, God had told him yes. to serve him. But the Bible says, and the Spirit of God departed from God. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not for anybody. Now it goes to, to somebody. Yes. Somebody to go to David. Yes. <laughs> So the, the, the gift of the Holy Spirit um, yes. are meant to be used for every believer. Mm. That is the answer there. That mm. every believer needs to make themselves manifest and be used. And yes. just to distinguish maybe further, because mm. you may have wanted maybe to say, does this operate only for pastors? Mm. Because many of us actually run pastors and elders and deacons so highly mm. and neglect and all look down on some of our members. Yes. Who could be used so uh, powerfully by God, mm. even to do greater works of God yes. than the front seaters, assuming mm. that in your church, like maybe where I am, uh, the, the pastors and those I mentioned are the front seaters yes. <laughs> and the worship team leader. Yes. So God, in His way, actually intends that every believer yes. who knows God, whether he mm. sits at the back mm. or in the front, wow. can actually be used of God. Yeah. Um, in that spirit to the highest level possible. Wow. Yes. Right wow. from the ashes to the pulpit. Wow. Yes. Wow. So you're, you, you, you're saying that the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. can be used from the old, from the pulpit all the way to the back. We yes. are not saying that ashes are, you know, pastors have more of the spirit of God mm -hmm. and ashes just a little. <laughs> no, no, yes, you know, yes, yes. You, you, yeah. Mm. Actually, I was reading one of the passages, I can't remember exactly, in Ecclesiastes. Mm. It mentioned that there is a poor man who saved the city. Yes. And his name is not there. It's just called there is a poor man who saved the city. Yes. He has no name. Mm. In some places, significant people, even those that were ignored, when they did something, their names are mentioned. Yes. You know, Ecclesiastes is mm. a book that was written by Solomon. Yes. The gift of God can be used by one of the person that sits down there in the congregation mm. to save a city. That is wow. my point of wow. reference. Wow. 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 God wow. may not just save the church and the world by the front seaters or wow. the pulpit or the minister of the world. They could be somebody that sits in that church mm. and prays. And this is wow. what I'm trying to talk about. Yes. I didn't talk about the gift of faith. Wow. There are people that have gift of faith. They can wow. trust God in um in a very challenging situation. Wow. When people are not seeing possibilities, they become the calibs of the season. Wow. And they say we can certainly take this mountain. Mm. Now the people with the gift of faith, they may not be sitting down there when people are wondering whether uh, the church is going to have some instruments, they want wow. to build the church because mm. they realize that the finances, and the person say, we can certainly get them. So wow. there is a high possibility of God using anyone and everyone to the highest wow. level possible. Wow. Yes. Wow, very, mm. very insightful. Yes. Very, very insightful. Mm. And so, as you're talking about the gifts, of the Holy Spirit, you've said, mentioned it clearly that the gift of the Holy Spirit can can operate just as powerful, mm. much as it operates through a pastor, even an usher, even a get man, even a child, even now, a child. Me, yes, even a yes. child can actually uh, get uh, perform the miracles. Mm. I'm looking at the miracle of the of, of, of the five loaves and two fish. Yes. Uh, uh, who had the two fish? 
It was a, a small boy. He, so you know, somebody said, if you remove the child from that miracle, this, yes. can we have a miracle? Well, that's a different way yes. of looking at it. Maybe the interpretation could be taken mm. differently by different mm. people. But imagine, a child was at the scene of miracle. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. They can be used by God. Wow. To deliver a message. Wow. To deliver a prophecy. Wow. To deliver healing. Wow. To deliver a word of knowledge. A child can wow. come before you and ask you a question as a father. Wow. And you really get disturbed. One wow. of my esteemed mentor went and bought some clothes. It was around Christmas season. Yes. For the wife, for the children. Mm. But one of the daughters saw the grandmother. Mm. You know, the grandmother was visiting and the dad did not buy anything. Mm. Mm. So out of the innocence, the three-year-old baby carries a blanket mm. and, and gives the grandmother. Yes. Which was meant to be for the mother. Yes. For the wife. Mm. Okay, for the mother of the child. Exactly. But yes. the wife to the, mm. to the man. Mm. And then the man just concludes the Lord had decided to give bless the mm. my grandmother. That's a gift of miracle. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Children can mm. really uh, just speak something. But if you are designing... You just leave it, and mm. it, it, it happens. Wow! At one point, my son asked me that, um, "Dad, you, you, I know you buy for us a vehicle, mm. and I never thought of buying a vehicle, owning a vehicle." Wow! I, it came to pass. Wow! Um, I, I, I can only just marvel at God. Exactly. I leave the child. Exactly. But now, God, in His own wisdom, mm. in fact. Live alone now in the gifts of people. That's when we discuss another thing. God mm. can even use, he talks of a donkey. That's a different thing. Also. Yes. But donkeys don't have spirit. But in this context, in fact, even children wow. can really um, be used of God mm. and be able to deliver uh, the things that we talk about. Wow. Yes. Now that we're talking about children, mm. uh, here in Sitam, we normally have a process of bringing mm. uh we do, now spiritual children. Yes. We yes. we have a process of bringing somebody from the level where they mm. have received the Lord Jesus Christ. We take them through discipleship process. Yes. Mm. You know that helps them to grow. Yes. Yes. You know. Mm. Now, at what point can we assume that somebody is ready to to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit and use them? For God's glory. Yes, yes. It's, yes. it's a very controversial topic in the theological system, mm. but it's not very controversial to sit them. Yes. Sit them, we talk about the age of accountability of 12 years, which yes. we have just, I'm saying, a sit them. Yes. That's an age we think that a child has reached a point of making a decision mm. and be able to say, I am born again and follow yes. Christ. Mm. Nonetheless, having said that, God mm. in his own working. Now, if you take 12 as the age of accountability, yes. then 11 going downwards is called the age of innocence. Yes. Yes. Mm. Now, age of innocence, this is where now but you just become an available vessel. Yes. And God still <laughs> uses you. <laughs> yes. So you find that actually the limit mm. is not capped yeah. at what point. Because yeah. only that if it's a decision that is made in what we call uh, their personal evolution, and yeah. their growth level, mm. then at 12 years, you can take them seriously. Okay. But for God's context, okay. whereby he's taking them innocence, a mm. child can innocently, just like you, God can use you as a vessel yes. and deliver the message. Yes. You get what I'm putting across. Mm. Mm. But for us, we take about 12. I know there are many people that are thinking now the growth rate has gone high. We can talk about 10. Mm. So those are different things that people okay. talk about. Okay. Yes. Now, now, now. We are talking about two levels of like looking at childhood. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody can be physically mature, but they are spiritual children yes. because they have given their lives to the Lord, yes. you know, late in life. Mm. And so when you're talking about that case where somebody is mature physically, but mm. in the things of God, they are still growing up. Mm. At what point do we allow them now to come and say that they can be used of God? Is it... Yes, yes, it's, it's yes. quite good because the Bible talks about yes. uh, for those who desire the office of an overseer and gives different things, it raises the bar of maturity. Mm. Uh, it varies from church to church, but yes. basically somebody needs to come at a level that they understand mm. that um, God has saved them yes. and they give themselves some time to yes. grow, like mm. a year or so. Mm. Um, yes. Um, for us, we talk about, about our year to go through the discipleship process, mm. the program, mm. get to grow in some basic doctrinal principles. Exactly. What does God talk about? Mm. Um, 
uh, different uh, areas of some other things. Mm. Are they able to show some consistency in that one year? Mm. So one year is quite enough, and it could be less depending on how uh, God is also operating on you. Because mm. in six months, uh, some people have grown up. Mm. I gave my life to Christ back in the 1999 mm. in a very small church. Mm. And so in a small church, you get born again. The following Sunday, you are asked to read a scripture. The following Sunday, you are asked to pray. The following Sunday, you are asked to read a scripture, preach and pray. Mm. So you literally grow in less than exactly. two months. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it really depends. But yes. a, a church like Sitam, mm. where we really large congregation and the discipleship happens in the smaller groups and mm. you're doing some in the major, it could mm. take a year or even yes. plus. Yes. But in a small context of church setting, mm. with a lot of accountability, somebody yes. can actually have a dramatic growth, mm. uh, like some of us did in the small churches. Wow. Wow. Talk of months, of six months, mm. you can see a consistency of somebody and say, this one, mm. God has elevated them. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So mm. it's possible. The rate, I mean, the rate of growth depends on the Holy Spirit and how they are the available yes. to be used. Yes. by the Holy Spirit. And I should also mention yes. that the gifts of the Holy Spirit when they operate to you like preaching and doing other things, mm. um, I've come to realize that for you once you get born again, the Holy Spirit now gives you the other mandate you to, to go and do sharing or the same immediately. You don't need to grow well, for sharing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, becoming what we call an outreach person mm. or a missioner. Mm. You can go immediately. Because, oh, really? Yes. You look at um, yes. this, um, this woman mm. the, the, that was caught in the act. Um, yes. Then, or this was the time. one which was blind. They say that now I have met a servant. She says she went around telling all the villagers. Yes. I think it's in John chapter 4. Yes. So you realize that she became an evangelist immediately. Wow. She received Christ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> varied times yes. and varied points. But mm. as church leadership, uh, an advice need to be taken to take through people through discipleship wow. to avoid heretical wow. uh, point of view. Avoid excitement because there's a way of we need to manage salvation. Mm. Just the mm. way some people are not able to manage success. Wow. Mm. So it becomes a gradual growth every day and see what can I buy, what can I do as time goes by. Wow. Yeah. We call it the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And so there is nothing like somebody being entitled to anything. It's not entitled. It's given by God. Mm. Uh, it's given by God. Yes. It's not you. When you find yourself that God is using so powerfully, you don't need to merchandise that gift. You need to not take yourself and say, I am a great preacher. In fact, um, yeah, people say, I want to go to the church of Pastor Buile. There's no church that belongs to Pastor. All church that belongs to Christ. Mm. By the same spirit, he has enabled different men of God to operate in that place, and that church has grown. So it's a gift of the Holy Spirit, not the gift of elder or dead mm. Pastor Buile or senior pastor or bishop of wow. a certain place. Wow. Yeah. Now, you know, the Bible talks about the gifts. You know, uh, a saint is equipped mm. so that the church can be edified yes. in the book of Ephesians. Mm. Now, now, for that case, for since uh, we're talking about individuals, people yes. mm. who are being equipped so mm. that the church can be mm. edified, yes. is it right then to say that one assembly should mm. desire to have all those gifts mm. or is it spread among the you know, the body of Christ in different congregations? Well, um, the answer is yes to both, mm. to both scenarios. Yes. Um, a church like uh, 1,500, you can't miss all those gifts being made manifest. Yes. Particularly having said that you can actually have like three gifts mm. of the Holy Spirit in you. You can yes. actually have a gift of faith, gift of knowledge, gift of wisdom. Yes. So a church like where we are sitting there, you may not lack the all of the gifts here. Yes. Well, uh, in some instances, maybe in a unique situation, they could be as uh, in a different assemblies. But for both, it's a desire for every church setting or every congregation or every assembly or setup of assemblies mm. to have all these gifts. Yes. Yes, because they are meant to edify the churches. Wow. You put it, and wow. the Bible puts it. Mm. Yes. Wow. Mm. Wow. So it's right to desire. It's, when it's right to desire. Mm. And you know, um, you asked me one question, how do you know the gift of the Holy Spirit mm. that is operating in you? There are different ways, actually. Mm. And one of them is that desire. Mm. It's desire. Mm. If things are good, 
Yes. And one of my Bible study members say, why do people fear even speaking in tongues? And Bible talks is this a gift of the Holy. Desire the things of God. Yes. The way you desire to get married, desire to have a good car, you desire wow. to have a good wife. Wow. There are things, there are good things of God. Wow. So we can desire to have the gift of God. You wow. can pray about them. If you realize you don't have those gifts, wow. you can pray about them. Wow. Some people can be gifted also to unlock and know the gifts that are in you. You know, you can be operating in certain gifts until or, uh, uh, until people come to tell you, you are wow. unaware of those kind wow. of gifts. So people need to be in fellowship and wow. continue serving. Because people are saying, we learn praying by praying. We learn to know these wow. gifts by being in tandem with the Holy Spirit. Wow. Yes. So you know, desire. you've just responded to a question that I wanted to ask. Mm. Can somebody stand out and say, I feel I am seeing a gift in you? Yes. Can a man of God say that? Yes, yes. Yes. God has elevated some people uh, yes. among us. Particularly when you as elders, mm. you, you, you come and you realize there's a gift, special gift in this man. Mm. And maybe even that person is not aware of yes. that. Um, and so more often than not, you see people being picked and they are able to serve God. Yes. Take the, the, the case of the, the, the 12 disciples. Mm. In fact, somebody has said, Jesus, the disciples didn't choose Jesus. Yes. Jesus chose them. They were doing fishing and say, you can become. And there were people that were left. Yes. So there was that discernment of God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, knowing that there is a gift. Wow. More often than not, our wow. gifts are normally unlocked. Wow. by the people we work with wow. or the people that have authority in wow. us. Wow. Yes, it's one way of knowing wow. the gifts. Wow. Yes. Mm. That is profound. Yes. That Jesus mm. chose his yes. disciples mm. and there were many other people, uh, you know, there were many other fishermen yes. and he skipped them and chose specific yes. ones. Yes. You know, he, he did not just go randomly closing yes. his eye and saying, you. Yes. <laughs> no. It was... Yes. You know, Jesus knew yes. the end, you know, mm. of each mm. of those people, how effective they are going to be in, in ministry. Yes. Wow, that mm. stands out, that it's possible for a man of God to help people identify yes. if they, this man of God who is being used by the Spirit of God, God can use them to identify yes. a gift in somebody and say, yes. I'm feeling in my spirit that the Lord yes. wants to use you in this direction. Yes, yes. Wow, that mm. stands out in many ways. Mm. And so, Pastor, mm. this has been a very, very, uh, it has been, you know, one of yes. those sessions that I felt like I'm learning a lot, mm. Mm. you know, and yes. uh, I just want you to mention something mm. to our viewers, even yes. as you bring this to a close, mm. perhaps you want to, 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 to just mention a parting shot and even pray with them. Thank you, bring thank you, Elder, process. for yes. that insightful topic. Yes. Uh, mm. Viewers, we bless God for you. Mm. You are listening to us and maybe you think that maybe you are lesser. Mm. Our goal in this discussion is to let you know that God has given us the gifts to edify the body of Christ. Mm. We do not have Superman. We do not have a person like a, a, a monopoly of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. They mm. operate in all of us. We were having a session actually earlier today as the pastors of Sidon. Mm. And the bishop asked us one critical question. After giving us the duties of a pastor, which is preaching, tending the flock, uh, visiting the sick, administering the Holy Communion, they said, what are some of these functions which uh, a lay minister or an ordinary member can do? And I literally looked and I realized that all of us can do uh, care ministries can preach, can teach, can visit the sick. Mm. You can actually literally do all the tasks of our pastor. But how comes we seem like we are having a church that is not appropriating the gifts of the Holy Spirit? My challenge is to you, my dear viewer, mm. may you understand the gift of the Holy Spirit in you, the gift of faith, the gift of knowledge, the gift of doing anything and everything God wants to do. Mm. May you appropriate the same. Pastors are just there to identify, to help you administer some of those things. And I wish this, you know, that I wish that you grasp that and be able to use it for the glory and wow. honor of wow. your name. I feel like I need to pray for us and with us that God will help us to utilize all our gifts for the glory and honor of God. Some of us are sitting on our gifts. And I want you just to bow your heads and pray with me that God help me 
to understand my gifts and that let me that I may appropriate the gifts that you've given unto me that I may not just feel like I need to be served or I may serve for the son of man did not come to be served but to serve he knew his role. He knew the gift that were operating on him. And I pray that even you understand the same and fulfill the God's purpose in your workplace, yes. in your church, in every area, in every place you desire. Because God is faithful. And I thank God for you. I pray that God will unlock you to do marvelous things going forward because God is willing to use you. We worship God for you and thank God for you. We worship you, Lord. Thank you for allowing our viewers to be blessed and all of us to minister to your people. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 The Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you as well, Pastor. Thank you. That was powerful. Yes. And many thanks for bringing that with clarity. Amen. In-depth understanding. Amen. Yeah, the Lord has just used you in a powerful way mm -hmm. to speak to our people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we pray that this wisdom will go a long way. My brother and my sister, may this wisdom go a long way. What you've heard here, take it out there. Mm -hmm. May the Lord use you as a vessel to communicate his purposes. And even if you are doubting a gifting in your lives, now you know. Don't sit on those gifts. Allow those gifts to be used. Allow the Holy Spirit to use those gifts for his glory. Amen. The Lord bless you. It was nice having you. Until we meet again, stay blessed. Amen. Amen. Amen.